brand new episodes of Fireman Sam. They are coming to Cartoonito this October. Something huge is happening in Ponty Pandy to tell us more. Fireman Sam himself is on the line. Hey, Sam. Hello, Dan. How are you? I am really well. I'm delighted to be talking to you. This is, this is a real, real honour for oh, me. Oh, well, well, thank you very much. That's very kind of you to say. I have to say, well, I, well, I will. Uh, tell us, what's everything like in Ponty Pandy right now? What can you see around you? Take us there, would you? Oh, well, I, I'm just in the fire station at the moment. Uh, obviously sat in front of my, uh, my laptop. Uh, talking to you now, but uh, no, it's a it's a it's a bit of a rainy day, but um, fingers crossed that limits any chance of uh, any fires, you know, obviously, um, and hopefully it's keeping Norman inside, so uh, so there won't be any uh, other emergencies kicked off by Norman Price. It's always a big worry. What you say there, Sam, about the fact that it's it's a bit wet, it's a bit drizzly, murky. Maybe the rain might stop any fires. Yes. Is this something that you're always thinking about? Obviously, oh, as, I- as, a, as a fireman, you're keen to stop it, but you're always worried that it might be starting up. Oh, absolutely. I mean, obviously, in the, in the hot summer months, um, when there is you know, very little rain, uh, you know, the, uh, things can dry out, um, especially in the forests and the grasslands. Um, everything can dry out. And, and it only takes someone to discard a bottle or a spark from a bonfire to travel through the air and land. You know, obviously with bottles, they can act like a magnifying glass if the sun hits them at just the right angle and poof, suddenly you've got a fire started. Mm-hmm. And um, so, we, so we do follow the weather and also the winds as well, because if a fire starts and the wind is quick and pushing in a certain direction, it can spread very quickly. So yes, the weather is something that we do monitor all the time. Now we're coming into a a, a season, uh, a part of the year where things can get unsafe quite quickly with fireworks with one fire night as well. So we'll touch on that in just a sec. Before we do, there are, there is a brand new series, series 12. That's of, right. Of your show, your own show. It's coming to Cartoonito. There are 13 episodes. Tell us about how you think Ponty Pandy has changed through those 12 series. Well, uh, obviously, the technology has uh, got a lot better. And, and, and obviously, you know, I think Norman Price is single handedly responsible for boosting our budget. Uh, so we're, you know, we have all of the toys, the bells and whistles, um, you know, we're very lucky to have, uh, Jupiter and Saturn and all of these incredible fire pieces of firefighting equipment. So that's changed. The technology's moved on. You know, we've got a drone now so we can, uh, try and spot people with a heat camera. There's, there's all sorts of exciting things, but also the town has grown, you know, people have moved here. Um, and, and so we, we have new friends as well. Now, when I'm at home, Sam, and um, maybe there's a new piece of tech out, my dad's never a fan. He's always a fan of the way things were. Oh, back in the old days, things were better. They were easier. You mentioned there uh, at the fire station now, you've got, you've got loads more tech. You've got this drone. Yes. Um, I'm sure that you're really pleased to use it, but are you, do you also miss the way things were when you were fighting fires back in the day? Well... I mean, the simple fact of the matter is, is that we can get to fires more quickly. And, and at, a, at the end of the day, one of the main things we use is a hose and water. Um, and, and that will never change. And in all honesty, that's one of my favorite things to do. You know, just try and control a fire. You know, water to the base, make, get it out as fast as you can and stop it from spreading. But... Um, so a lot of the new tech can be great fun, but mostly it, it's, it's more about speeding things up. It's about, it's about making us able to do our job more efficiently and more safely. You know, if we've got a drone up high, we don't have to send people in to try and find someone in what might be a really smoky and dangerous area. Ah, what about the future, Sam, do you think? So you've got a drone now. Is there maybe anything that you would like to see in the next few years that could help you fight fires? Oh, my goodness. Um, well, I mean, you know, obviously a drone that could dispense, uh, sticky foam or something like that. So it's from above, that would be wonderful. Obviously we have Wallaby one and two, you know, Tom Thomas who flies the helicopter. He can obviously scoop water and can drop it from above. But, um, uh, I'm just excited to see what, obviously, uh, f- you know, new fire suits that can stop us overheating and things like that. That would be great fun. That would be lovely because obviously our equipment gets updated all the time. 
But um, yes, I mean, sort of, you know, better heat proofing, you know, so that uh, we can stay in a, you know, in a burning building longer to try and help people. That would be pretty cool, I think. I think that'd be amazing too. It's not the only change that has, that's happened in Ponty Pandy recently, is it? Because we're going to see some some officers on the beat. Can you tell us more about about these, the police people who? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Well, Malcolm. Yes, PC Malcolm Williams. Yes, he's uh, he's wonderful. And also, there is a bit of a familial connection, you see, because mm-hmm. he is Nurse Helen Flood's little brother. Oh, so there is a connection there. Oh, yes. Yes, Helen's, Helen's brother's come to Ponty Pandy. And I've got to be honest, it, it's, it's quite comforting to know that I have a bit of backup now <laughs> for Norman. You know, well, th- th- there's not just one branch of the emergency services trying to keep him in check. There's two. So the episodes we've got, we've got 13 episodes of Series 12. This has yes. followed you uh, recently as you've been fighting fires, uh, help, help, helping out Malcolm as well. Now, uh, I would imagine around Ponty Pandy. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the things you remember from this series that we can see? Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, there, there was a particular day. Um, uh, up at the Mountain Rescue Centre, and um, Norman uh, was wanting to use this zip line, and unfortunately, he didn't quite get it right, and he fell in the river, you see. And so we, uh, we had to race against the, the flow of the river to try and rescue him, so that was pretty exciting. Uh, what else? Oh, there was a wonderful, wonderful thing with a sea turtle. We had to rescue a sea turtle who had become caught up in uh, plastic around its neck so we had to rescue that sea turtle which is a, which was a wonderful thing to be close to such a magnificent creature um but also i hope that uh, when people watch the episode they'll learn that it's very important to dispose of plastic and rubbish properly you know put it in a bin or get it recycled don't just discard it on the beach or throw it away because it can harm an animal now i mentioned this earlier on sam we're coming into what for me is quite a special time, one of my favourite moments of the year, being outside, holding your sparkler, fireworks in the air, bonfires as well. When you hear about bonfire night, do you get a little bit nervous? Are you, are you, are you a bit like a pet dog and you just want it all to go away and us not to do it? Um, no, no. I think, uh, I think bonfire night is a wonderful thing. I think it's a great way for people to uh, enjoy themselves. And I mean... Who doesn't like a good firework? You know, hearing those oohs and ahs as people watch them. But they can be very dangerous. So, yes, it, it is generally a busy night of the year for us. Um, but all we can do is try and educate, get the message out there about how to be safe, what you should and shouldn't do. And um, But I, I think it's important for people to enjoy themselves and to, and to take part. You're talking about education, teaching us what we can and can't do, Sam. Uh, are there just a, a few things that you really should tell us before we do go out this bonfire night? And Oh, um, I, abso- I would love to if that would be helpful, absolutely. I, 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 would, I would love that, Sam. Okay, well, um, obviously fireworks, they're, they're wonderful, but they can be very dangerous. So, um, uh, uh, little ones, this is for you. Um, listen to the grown-ups. And always stand in a safe place, you know, a good distance from where the fireworks are being set off from. Um, What else? Uh, Make sure you wrap up warm and don't wear dressing up clothes, you know, fancy dress. Because a lot of those clothes, let's say a beautiful uh, princess outfit or a fairy outfit or let's say, you know, a pumpkin fancy dress, that's generally made from materials that are quite flammable. So it's very, very, very important. You wear normal clothes, wrap up warm, have gloves on. That's the best way to experience fire in a sort of bonfire night. Um, uh, Also, this is very important. We were speaking about animals earlier. Mm. Um, If you take a few days to build your bonfire and it stands overnight, uh, animals might start to use it as shelter. Ah, Of course, because it might be quite warm there might it? It, it indeed it that is exactly it's so hedgehogs hedgehogs tend to uh, gravitate towards you know a pile of wooden leaves so it's very important before you light it with a grown-up just give it a quick check and try to check that there's nothing sort of having a sleep under there because it would be terrible to miss that um so uh, what else? Uh, I've said stand a safe distance away. Spark- anything about sparklers, Sam? I always love holding a sparkler. Oh, 
well, sparklers are, are wonderful, but again, they can be dangerous. So my first top tip, wear gloves. That's very important. Next top tip, hold the sparkler straight out, arm straight away from your body. That's very important. And you know, you can write your name with it in the air and things like that, but don't wave it near anybody's face or anybody's body generally, and don't run with them. That's very important because if you run and you tripped, you would hurt yourself. Um, what else? When the sparkler goes out, put it straight into a bucket of water and don't pull it back out because that sparkler, it might not be bright and sparkly anymore, but it is very, very hot and you could burn yourself. So uh, that's, that's pretty important, I think. I think so too. I think those are brilliant tips, Sam. Hopefully with those... Uh, you can have a quite a quiet bonfire night this year, fingers crossed. And, and listen, the new series, uh, it's series 12, 13 episodes, and you can watch them twice a day as well. So this is on Cartoon Ito uh, from Monday, the 26th of October. Uh, once in the morning, seven in the morning, and four in the afternoon as well, which is good fun. Um, I know, it's so exciting. It's, we're seeing a lot of you on the telly. What's the best thing about being famous, Sam? Oh, I'm not famous. I just, you know, I'm just doing my job. You know, with Elvis and Penny and Arnold and Ellie and Station Officer Steele. You know, we're just very privileged that people are interested in what we do. I love my job. And I'm very lucky to be surrounded by incredibly uh, kind and wonderful people who are very good at their jobs. But also they're my friends and they're my family. And... Um, I just think it's lovely that any, anybody wants to watch what we're up to. Well, and, and we do, and, and we are lucky to have you to keep on doing it, to keep on saving the day. Um, Fireman Sam, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you for asking me. It's been a wonderful, 